Labor MP Josh Wilson. He is a backbencher, but he has got a position on one of the important parliamentary committees. And we're starting to see, I think for the first time since the election, really looking back on a major issue, some very public opposition from within the Labor Party about one of their big positions. Yeah, it happened a lot when the Liberals were in government, right? And obviously mm. when Labor was last in government, but they've had a honeymoon 10 months on this front. Josh Wilson's in Fremantle. That's a seat that attracts a high vote from the Greens, so maybe that's influencing him here. But extraordinary comments. The Fremantle Labor MP Josh Wilson has broken ranks with the government on AUKUS and expressed concerns about the project in the Parliament. The PM won't be ecstatic about this. Well, I support the work of the government. I'm not completely convinced that nuclear-propelled submarines are the only or best answer to our strategic needs. I am concerned about the question of nuclear waste. And, Speaker, I'm not yet convinced that we can adequately deal with the non-proliferation risks involved in what is a novel arrangement. I could be proved wrong about some of my concerns. Perhaps they're ill-founded in a way that I don't perceive, and I can live with that. But I would be wrong already if I wasn't prepared to identify and voice those concerns all right, my colleague Trudy McIntosh revealed this Josh Wilson spray this morning. She also revealed the concerns were raised by Victorian MPs Libby Coker and Michelle Ananda Raja, the members for Corangamite and Higgins. Caucus sources have told me the MPs in the caucus were expressing questions asked by their constituents around what the nuclear submarine steel means for Australia's sovereignty and whether the huge $368 billion cost of the project would lead to other government programs being slashed. Now, Josh Wilson, as Kieran alluded to, is chair of the Treaties Committee, which of course oversees the Nuclear Non Proliferation Treaty. So, is it possible for him to have these views on AUKUS and stay in that job? I wonder. I understand he gave notice of the speech to the Prime Minister's office before delivering it, Kieran. 